Hey, Benjamin, this is Shang Peng with San Jose Hockey Now. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I know it was a difficult season for you insofar as um, you, the OHL season was canceled. Uh, but of course, you're able to star for Canada and U. 18s. Can you just sort of describe uh, your track this season? Yeah, so most of it uh, was spent in the gym or kind of on like a little ice pad with just a goalie skate. So uh, was, there's was a lot going into it. And I think I took it as a very good developmental year, uh, which really helped me out quite a bit and allowed me to kind of step into U18s and uh, play the way I did. I thought uh, I was able to kind of pick up and start running right away. And uh, that was huge for me. And yeah, I mean, I was just a big year on just a lot of development and getting them stronger obviously I was a pretty small guy last year and going into this year I wanted to put on some weight so I thought I took that pretty uh, seriously and tried to do that as much as possible. And going from your uh, last game with the Sting to uh, playing for Canada at the U18s you know there's a year in between uh, what kind of gains do you feel that you made you know you, you said you spent a lot of time in the gym so what did you see I guess grow in your game even though you didn't you hadn't played? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the biggest thing for me was definitely my gloves. Uh, was never really a big glove save kind of guy. And I think I took pretty big strides with that. And it really helped me control my rebounds and all that kind of stuff, putting it in the corner, keeping it in my glove. Um, that was huge for me. And then when it comes to the gym side of things, uh, the strength that I gained in my legs really helped me with speed, agility, all that kind of stuff. So my edges improved and my speed improved. And I think uh, overall, I kind of gained quite a bit uh, when it comes to my skating, which is one of my weaker points in my game, I believe. So uh, to kind of see that stuff uh, kind of unfold is pretty awesome. Uh, were you surprised at all uh, by, I guess, how much your game had grown in that, you know, kind of year in, in between? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it was pretty cool just being able to kind of sit back and watch it all. Um, I think when I went from watching my first few games in the OHL, uh, to the games at U18s, just the difference I thought was uh, uh, pretty awesome just to see the development that I did have. Um, whether it just be my hands, like I mentioned, or the skating, um, it was pretty cool to watch and just be able to witness it and kind of look back on all the hard, hard work I've kind of put into it. Uh, but yeah. Thank you again, Ben. Uh, Thank you. And this is uh, Curtis Pashalka from the Mercury News in San Jose. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, what were your conversations like with, with the Sharks? Did you kind of get a feeling from them that uh, they liked you and, and might take you at some point. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I don't think they're trying to give away too, too much. And at the end of the day, I didn't really know uh, too, too much going into this. And uh, I was just trying to keep an open mind and uh, never really get too fixated on one team. Um, I just kind of keep kind of level and just whatever team kind of I go to, it's an awesome opportunity. And for it to be uh, San Jose, it's unreal. I mean, such a great place from what I've heard and, uh, the team's an awesome team, and yeah, I can't wait to get down there and start playing. So it was, it was definitely a little bit of a surprise, uh, but I think it was pretty awesome, and I couldn't ask for it to kind of work out any better. Is this about where you thought you would go? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, talking to my agent and stuff, I dropped a little bit uh, from where we thought we were going to go. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I think in talking to my agent, we also just said we want to go to a place that wants me, uh, that can kind of use me uh, sooner than other teams. So. I think falling here uh, is something that will really help me out in the future. Um, it may not be something that I kind of look at right now and go, oh, I went third round, but I think at the end of the day, uh, it's exactly where I belong and it'll really help me out quite a bit. And uh, there's some great goalies to learn from uh, throughout the system. And I mean, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Is there a goalie that you look up to or maybe try to model your own game after? Yeah, I think uh, growing up, uh, it was between kind of Jonathan Quick and, uh, Carry Price and I kind of tried to use the athleticism of Quick, um, but now uh, kind of looking uh, in the more recent stuff, it's between Carry Price and Vasilevsky. I'm just using Carry Price's calmness, uh, his edge work, and all that kind of stuff, and at the same time uh, using Vasilevsky's edge work and his tracking skills and his puck uh, kind of safe selection. I think kind of those two guys combined together can make a really good goalie. So trying to learn the best off of both of them is uh, pretty important to me. Sorry for this question, but I got to ask, any relation to Johnny? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, there could be, uh, but he's just across the border from where my grandpa actually grew up. So you never know, uh, but I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you prefer Ben or Benjamin? Uh, Ben's good, yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks again. Congrats. Thank you very much. Anything else here, guys? 
Cheng. Ben, just wanted to ask too, uh, what was it like in this past year? You spent a lot of time, I, I, I read, uh, working out in backyard rinks and, you know, that's how you kept your game sharp, even, you know, because when you were able to play. So can you describe just that process in your draft year to be uh, doing that, to, you know, keep sharp? Yeah, we were actually even uh, like outdoor rinks on rollerblades throughout the summer and in my dad's gym uh, at his work, we were doing stuff in there. We had like a batter's cage set up and I was on rollerblades. So I think just be able to look back on what the year kind of was um, and see what I've kind of accomplished over that year is pretty awesome. Um, I think that's something that's kind of helped me realize and kind of bring in everything else into realization is just, it was a tough year, uh, but I tried to make the most out of it and do what I could uh, to stay ready and stay sharp. So I think it's kind of cool to look back on all the different kind of unique things that I had to kind of uh, do and go through just to kind of get here.